Hello and welcome to All About Gaming, my brand new gaming podcast, which is just me talking about games. If you don't know me, my name is Joe Anson and uh, I'm on Twitter at underscore water and I talk about video games a lot. That's all I do, do we? I used to write about them as a games journalist, I used to write for some big websites and now I don't. I just talk about games. I can't be bored writing for people anymore, so I just do my own thing and I enjoy it, to be honest. So... This is what this is, me talking about games. I might have some guests in the future as episodes go on, but at the moment, this is episode one. There's not really a lot of structure to this episode. I just wanted to introduce it and say hello to everyone and say welcome to my brand new uh, gaming podcast. It's not necessarily about PlayStation, even though this coming generation, I'm only going to have PlayStation 5. I have decided to opt against Xbox because I've decided to upgrade my PC. And my PC will be my Xbox, in which case I bought an Xbox controller to go with my PC. So that, that totally is my Xbox. I've had I've uh, subscribed to Game Pass for a couple of years. So I'm all sorted when it comes to the Xbox exclusives. I'm sorted when it comes to the PlayStation's exclusives. So yeah, it's quite exciting. So like I said, it's not a lot of structure to this first episode. It's just going to be a bit of gaming news talking about some PlayStation and Xbox stuff, talking about some games I've been playing personally, although I'm kind of trying to hold off in the new releases until the PlayStation 5 gets here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is some game news, and that is Codemasters buying... Uh, no, wrong way around, eh? 2K buying Codemasters. I find this quite an interesting move. I think it's 740 million they want to buy them for, which is quite a lot of money. Uh, Makes you wonder what they're up to. I mean, 2K, I guess, like to try and compete with EA. So they like to make sure they have all the sports titles under one roof and maybe kind of gaming kind of falls into, yeah, racing kind of falls into sports titles a little bit, doesn't it? But my main thinking here was what GTA, because when you think 2K, you always think Rockstar and you think GTA and you think to yourself, well, maybe they're going to make the, maybe they're going to make the car the car part of GTA a lot better. Imagine having Codemasters on board to do some good old car scenes in GTA, get the driving sorted, maybe add in some mad multiplayer modes and stuff like that. It could actually be quite a good combination. Hopefully, with the money 2K has and the expertise they have of making games, it could help Codemasters release even better games. I mean, they don't have bad titles, do they, Dart? And... Paul McCray Rally and all that, they they have not bad games really. I wish they kind of released a bit more diverse stuff, but I think that they do okay. So it's quite an interesting acquisition for 2K, I think. Uh, another bit of broken news, which I think is quite scary, is the Xboxes are quite literally smoking. Xbox Series X, there's been a few videos this morning showing that Xbox Series X, people have been waking up in the morning with the consoles smoking. It's probably not widespread and it's probably nothing to worry about. I mean, I imagine you always get problems with consoles at launch, but I think the fact that they're actually smoking is actually really quite scary. But uh, I'm hoping and I'm thinking personally that it's probably only one or two consoles doing it. I can't, I can't imagine that will be happening with a really widespread thing so hopefully nobody's house catches on fire because that would be quite horrible wouldn't it uh, sticking with xbox apparently some may not arrive until after xmas according to amazon yes the the demand has been quite good the supply isn't so good by the sounds of things and amazon seems to be struggling to to meet supply meet demand so after Christmas, you might not get your Xbox. And if you're the one, probably if you're the one after launch, you're not going to get it till after Christmas now. And it seems that's kind of going to be the same with PlayStation as well. PlayStation already came out and said that they're not going to have PlayStations in store on launch day. So the only place you'll be get, able to get them is online. But uh, it kind of can't you really see getting any online the bots will eat them all up or something so yeah that's a bit rubbish uh, and now back to playstation again uh, there's no support for 1440p which is kind of 
not a big deal to me because I mean to me PlayStation's all about TV anyway and playing on the TV, big screen experience, but a lot of people are quite disappointed about this. But thankfully, Sony has said that if there's enough demand for it in the future, then uh, they will they will add it in. So there we go, no need to worry, it could get added in. And finally, one more thing that I've just added to this news is uh, that uh, Sony says that the PlayStation 4 to 5 transition might take three years. So what it means by this is a lot of the games that are coming out on PlayStation 5 in the next few years could very well also come to PlayStation 4 as well. Now this makes sense. I mean, you've got like a, what, 110 million users on PlayStation 4 and a, on PlayStation 5, what is it going to be over the next three years? I mean, they're hoping to get about 10 million sales, I think, by March, which seems a bit ambitious, but they probably will do it. Uh, so that's still only what, 10% of PlayStation users, really, if you look at it like that. So over the next few years, they could probably reach up to 30, 40 million, maybe. I don't really know for sure. There's still going to be more PlayStation 4 owners, so it makes sense to sell your games to them, doesn't it? I mean, you want to make money, and if they do sell the games to them, they make more money. That money will go into PlayStation 5, so we all win, really. So there's nothing really to complain about there. So yeah, that's it. That's just my wee quick news roundup. It was only a quick news roundup. Like I say, episode one, just sort of getting the feel for this. And then uh, I'll dive into the news in more depth in the future because I, I'm i pretty good at that. It's my area of expertise, you see. Uh, okay, so I wanted to talk about the reviews next, uh, just quickly, because I've not played these games. So Assassin's Creed Bahala, uh, Bug Snacks and Spider-Man. I have played Watch Dogs, so I can talk about that a bit more. Uh, it's just quite interesting that the reviews are out for these games now because they actually seem to be getting quite good scores. I mean, I've not got Metacritic up, I can get it up, but uh, the, scores, the scores have been pretty good. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 81 on average. So, I mean, that sounds like it's a pretty good Assassin's Creed game. Personally, I've been really looking forward to it because... Uh, I, like, I just like the thought of Vikings, playing those Vikings, and it kind of looks a bit like The Witcher 3 as well, so I mean that's a good mix to me. Although it kind of looks, like watching the trailers and stuff, I've tried not to be watching any footage, but watching the trailers and stuff, it kind of looks like they've been watching Vikings on Amazon video, because the story kind of feels similar to that, Raid in the UK and all that, it kind of and the gods. Obviously it's going to be similar because it's all based around the same thing, but it just kind of looks like somebody's watched that and went, hmm, let's make a game out of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited about playing it. I could have bought it in PlayStation 4, but I decided I was going to buy it in PlayStation 5 because I wanted to sort of treat it like a launch title. Because obviously if you buy it in PlayStation 4, you get automatically upgraded to PS5, but I wouldn't really keen on starting now. I think I would just rather wait to launch. And it's the same uh, for... Spider-Man, I mean, I, I think that comes out probably at launch anyway, but it comes out tomorrow, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes out tomorrow because it launches in the UK on the 19th for the US on the 12th. So you probably could have played it on PlayStation uh, 4 and then continued PS5. I'm not interested. To me, it's a launch title and that's what I want to play it as. Again, Spider-Man is, is reviewed well as well. Uh, so is Bug Snacks. That seems to have reviewed quite well. I don't have that up on my screen. But uh, I think it's around about the 80, 70, high 80s, high, no, high 80s, high 70s, sort of low 80s. So it's not bad. And then there's another one, the Pathless as well, which I didn't really know anything about, but apparently it's getting really good scores as well. So these games are all going down well. So I think PlayStation launch lineup and even the Xbox, if you're looking at third parties, is pretty good. I mean... I'm keeping an eye on the Xbox One Why Not Just Be A Game Pass, really, because any any games that come exclusively to Xbox are obviously normally going to be on Game Pass, with the exception of the Falconeer, which is a little indie game made by one person. Uh, but I haven't, I'm, it's one I'm tempted to try in future, but I haven't. So I've, basically for the Xbox uh, exclusive titles that will come out over the future since there's not really many now. I'll be playing them in Game Pass so I'll be able to talk about them and get access to them. Uh, the 
one thing I have been playing in Game Pass that launched yesterday is Tetris Effect, and it is absolutely amazing. I love that game. I mean, I played it in PSVR anyway, so I know all about it. Tetris Effect on the Xbox basically adds in a multiplayer mode. That's why it's called Tetris Effect Connect, but I'm not really interested in playing multiplayer, so I've just been playing the single player. And it just reminds me how good it is playing it again on a 4K. I've been playing it on a 4K monitor, and it's just such a good game. If you have an Xbox Series X, you have to download Tetris Effect and Game Pass. If not, you're doing it wrong. You're missing out because it's brilliant. It's one of the best games ever made, in my opinion. It's that good. I really love it. It's a 10 out of 10. If I was reviewing it, 10 out of 10. One of the best games I've ever played. It's just, I know it's only Tetris, but just everything about it is a masterpiece. I'm sorry, but it totally is. So get that played. It's brilliant. There's nothing more to say about it, really. Uh, one more I've been playing personally is Watch Dogs. Now, I've been quite enjoying that. I think the story's a lot of nonsense. Yes. It's one of these games where you quite enjoy it because it looks good and it's fun to play. But the story you can just kind of forget about because it's the story is absolutely terrible. I, I don't, it's just went over my head. Whew. I've, I've not got a clue what it's about, to be honest. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the missions. I'm enjoying recruiting people. And one of the things I like the best is is when you do missions and you don't actually need to go in all guns blazing. You can sort of hack cameras or spiders. The spiders are cool because you can just hack the spider, just crawl about the room, and then, yeah, you can complete the mission without actually going in. It's genius. I love that. So, yeah, Watch Dogs is good. Probably one of my favourite things about it is the ray tracing, actually. I think everybody's going to be impressed with ray tracing this generation. It's just so good seeing the neon lights reflecting off the puddles. So, especially at night time in that game, it looks absolutely stunning. Oh, sorry, Alexa's just telling me that stuff's being delivered today. Thanks, Alexa, for interrupting my podcast. Uh, okay, so, yeah, stunning really nice uh, ray tracing is pretty impressive and it's one of the reasons i'm looking forward to cyberpunk actually i just can't wait to see all the neon lights and cyberpunk sort of there flashing about i think that's going to be fun so yeah i'm looking forward to that uh, so yeah that's the two games i've been playing uh tetris i kind of tetris has kind of distracted me from watchdogs to be honest i've not really played too much of watchdogs i've played quite a few hours but I've been taking my time, so I've only unlocked one area. Uh, it sort of took one area back. I mean, from dead sec. Otherwise, I've just kind of been playing Tetris because that's kind of distracting me now. And then this podcast is distracting me because I'm trying to think, oh, how am I going to structure this? But I think the structure you're seeing now is kind of the way it'll go. Just like I've done previous podcasts. I'll do the gaming news. I'll do the views. I'll do what I've been playing. And I'll talk about some upcoming stuff as well and things like that. One of the other things, uh, if you haven't seen my video that I did yesterday for the Xbox controller where I dropped it on the, I never dropped it on purpose, but where I dropped it, then watch that because that's a good video. I enjoyed doing that. And I'm going to do some more unboxing videos for the PlayStation 5 accessories when they come, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and the PlayStation 5 is obviously coming out next week, and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to talk about it. So, yeah, that's going to be good too. Now, I know this is quite a short episode because I just wanted to introduce it, just give you a little idea of what it will all be about. Talking about, just talking about games that will evolve over time, it'll get better. But, so what I'd really like though is just to involve people. So if you're commenting or if you're following me on Twitter at underscore water and you want to talk about games, then just hit me up with questions or or anything you want to talk about and we'll just talk about it. Because I want it to be a kind of a community podcast where we all sort of get involved because I think that's more fun that way. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry it's short, but I just wanted to introduce it like I say and so I get a feel for it myself. I hope you like my little way out on YouTube. And if you're listening as a podcast, then I hope you just enjoy listening. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.